316 RKDS Eagle by Jayco here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. 7,680 pounds and super clean. This is exceptionally well kept. Um, a pretty local owner. They were just uh, ready to move up, basically. They swapped out a top shelf trailer for an even topper shelf fifth wheel, basically. Um, but that's the kind of cool part about an Eagle, is that it's very much like a fifth wheel, just in a travel trailer shell. For instance, we have a fully automotive painted nose cap. Notice that it still has the same good looking chocolate brown it did as the day it was built. That's because it's not going to sun fade like a, a plastic color infused cap will, because it's painted. Um, this is well insulated as well. Forced air heated enclosed insulated underbelly, insulated slides, insulated roof, fifth wheel level insulation package, and you know, something that's uh, you know, potentially half ton towable, which a fifth wheel built to these specs would not be. Handy little outside utility uh, black tank flush there. UV tinted windows. These are going to keep the RV cooler because you're blocking 80% of solar radiation. Uh, you're also blocking 80% of nosy neighbors because you have to basically press your nose against the glass. If you start seeing little grease marks where some nosy neighbor pushed their nose against your glass, you know that you got nosy neighbors because they nosed on your windows. Maybe that's... You wonder... You think that's why they call them nosy neighbors? Dude, I think we just discovered something here. All right, moving on. Outside utility shower here. Uh, very handy for a lot of different things, whether it's cleaning fish, giving the grandkids a little place to play with mud pies, um, I'll, you know, hose down the grandkids, hose down your feet before you get in your camper. And there is a uh, outside grill quick connect down here under the bumper. Um, I don't see an RVQ grill included on this trailer, but uh, you could easily just slap one on there because of that. Big window out here, which I like, and it's on the campsite side of the trailer. This is where you're going to have your fire pit and your lawn chair, so that's where you want a big window. And uh, I'll talk more about this when we get inside, but people go nuts over rear living rooms because they have this big rear window. Well, that window is looking at the back of the trailer next to you. Now, it could be a worse view because at least it's a Jayco, but, you know, what, what good's that doing you? This window is looking, again, at your campsite under the awning. That's the way, place you want the window, right there. And great looking aluminum wheels because everybody knows shinier is faster, better, and stronger. Let's hop inside for you. We do uh, have a 30 inch wide entry door, four inches wider than industry standard. So a uh, big grown person can just walk straight in the door. You don't have to do the sideways shuffle into the door. I am not much of a dancer. My wife will confirm that for you. Um, though, you know, when I've maybe had a couple barley pops, I might have been known to accidentally find myself in the middle of the dance floor. And even then, I'm still not a good dancer. I'm just not a good dancer, period. So, looking around inside, very, very well kept. Time capsule level. Uh, that's, that's the phrase I like to use when something looks exactly today like it did the day it was built. So we got our uh, air bed, hide a bed over here, and it looks like all the equipment and hardware is present for that. One of the cool parts about these air beds is that little bonus storage drawer that you get down here that a traditional trifold hide a bed used today does not offer. Dinette has good storage under it, and that is one of the benefits of a booth versus a freestanding table is bonus storage. And they made this side real easy to get to with a full extension drawer. Everybody likes that, easy to get to. Um, Jayco uses the Dream Dinette system on their upper level um, uh, dinettes. And the whole point here is when you're ready to uh, sleep in it, it just pushes down into a sleeper. And when you're done, all you got to do, oh, of course, you know, you got to kind of grab it in the right spot here. I've, ah, I'm at a bad angle to grab this thing with only one hand. You really want to do those with two hands so you don't torque it. But basically, it just lifts right up back into position when you have two hands. Now, um, this has a uh, six inch arched interior ceiling. So arched interior and exterior. That means that it's six foot, 10 inches at the apex. So that's gonna really open it up in here. Now they use that extra space to include a bigger refrigerator. And I love this floor to ceiling pantry over here because once again, there's no such thing as too much storage. But they did try. They just kept on rocking with the storage all the way over here, all the way above your seating. Now we haven't even got to um, below that, uh, your countertop here. First of all, before we get there, this level change is something that like they were doing in the designer and Pinnacle. And here we have it in an Eagle. I wish they were still doing that because man, is that is so classy. It is so classy, I absolutely love that. And once again, counter space is one of those things you cannot get enough of, but 
hey, why not? We've got the extra serving space up here, all the space there, wraps around and more space in the corner, and that's perfect for like your uh, appliances like your coffee makers and blenders and stuff. Four full extension drawers here, and they're not just real skinny, they're pretty darn wide too, so you can actually get a lot of stuff in there. Um, all your doors, by the way, are all hardwood, so they're not gonna fall apart. And all of your cabinetry, if you reach back here, here's a shopping tip for you. Find a, a middle beam cabinet style like this. This is the door, this is the style. Reach back here where these two boards touch. Can you feel staples or screws? In a Jayco, you feel screws, not staples. That means it's just gonna hold up longer. Staples are okay. They do okay. But uh, if you use that cabinet a lot, it's probably not if, but when they will break down. So once again, big window. Two, uh, you know, fun little swivel rocking chairs there, just like a rear living room, but guess what? Now we have it in a rear kitchen, looking out at your campsite with more countertop and cabinet space than a rear living room could ever dream to provide. We still got a nice big super slide. It's not like we're giving up living space. In my personal view, it's just a better option than a rear living with one potential exception. All of your cabinets are located, uh, pardon me, the bulk of your big storage cabinets are located behind the axles. That means that it can bounce a little bit more. So you're going to have to be a little more uh, conscientious of uh, how you pack up your storage space back here because your uh, the stuff in your cabinets is going to wiggle and bounce a touch more. And this is another neat thing. They did a great job with the storage in this entertainment center. They actually made it a little bit deeper right here. But what you get for it is like... A giant pantry basically so there's even more storage going on over here than you realized initially are uh, the uh, 32 inch LED television right here it's on a little pivoting mount so you can see it whether you're on the sofa the dinette or the chairs so there's no bad seat in the house um, DVD CD stereo so all of your electronics are taken care of and we do have a handy little shoe garage right next to the entry door not an accident walk in kick off your shoes now you're not leaving a pile of shoes by the door this always seems to make people go, oh, look at that, when they mount the uh, toilet paper holder on the door, but it's actually really smart. Um, so porcelain foot flush stool and lots of leg room in here to actually get dressed once you're out of the shower. Now, normally a shower like this, a bathroom like this, rather, you wouldn't have good storage, but they extended the bedroom storage slide here into the bathroom. Those latches are still really strong too. So you've got all this like uh, beach towel and normal towel storage space with a couple of his and hers drawers down here as well. Um, we've got a big tall person friendly shower so that, uh, here, what, here, hold on. If you've seen my videos, you know what I'm gonna do next. I'm gonna stand in the shower. So once again, tall person friendly shower. That, that uh, barreled interior ceiling makes a big deal and that is a bright skylight. I'm getting blinded. The light is at just the right spot for that. Um, pretty uh, simple bathroom sink setup, but that does offer us extra countertop space, so it's not bad. It's it's just, you know, it works well. And a uh, bigger Max Air fan up here so that you can actually get some really good airflow in the bathroom. Uh, very nice, too, if you don't want to run the AC on just a sort of coolish night and get that good airflow going in the camper. Walk around bed with gas struts so it's easy lift and storage. We have bedside stands for your CPAPs, uh, breathing machines there, and your phone chargers. Uh, more hanging storage. And then again, we still have all this closet space in the slide out off the floor plan. Bonus storage space. So this is a great floor plan if you want to do some towing, but also do some extended stays. It gives you the storage for that, but it's not too long and not too heavy that it's hard to tow. This is set up for a bedroom TV if you're so inclined, though it does not appear anyone's ever been uh, installed there, which means no one ever screwed stuff into your wall panels, which isn't bad either. So, give us a call. 800-256-5196, Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Uh, we do uh, financing. We obviously do trades, as you're seeing here. Uh, we do trucks for package deals, or we can just do trucks for whatever you need a truck for. Uh, we can deliver this to your campsite, to your front door, to whatever you want. You don't even need a vehicle. We do everything. All we need is a phone call to make it happen, and we roll a lot of them out, guys. We work close with folks, and our used inventory has been pretty low this year because we've been very fair and cutting good deals with people. So things like this aren't lasting extremely long. Check the posting date. If you're just watching this on video, uh, uh, on YouTube rather, you can click down here. It says click for pricing and availability. That will bring you right to our website. If it's in stock, you can see it. You can see how much. You can give us a call and get a great deal. Take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.